Netflix hit show Beef is going to be coming back for season two. That's great news, but the whole cast is going to be predominantly white and not Asian. Oh, let's talk about it. Hold on, hold on. Because like Beef, it could be Cowby, but Beef could also be like a porterhouse. So really like Beef, that's the most important thing that it is from a cow. Um, guys, we got to talk about it. The internet is up in an uproar. Of course, some people are arguing this side, that side. Long story short, Beef, which was supposed to be a limited series, Andrew, uh, is being brought back almost as a Black Mirror style series where it's just focusing on different couples beefing with each other. However, mm. in the new one, Andrew, it's going to have Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway, wow. huge movie superstars. What are they worth? Like $100 million each? Big and then stars. the next one is going to be Charles Melton. Shout out to him. Half Korean, half white. We play basketball with him. And Kaylee Spaney. Mm. So basically, Andrew, I guess the beef went from two full Asians to a half of an Asian amongst four. Mm. So, uh, so, I mean... It's not that there will be for sure zero Asians in the next season, but it will just not be based around Asians anymore. Yeah, Charles Melton, shout out to Charles Melton, man. We, right. we threw him no, that but assist. I, I'm saying, no, I mean, he might have some Asian background and storyline in his storyline, I'm saying, but like, it's not going to be about... It's all Asians. Right, right, right. So basically, the internet is in an uproar. We're going to get into it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out SmileLastSauce.com. Switch on to Sicily, sold out right now. I'll say this. This is how Hollywood works. No. You have a hit series. It's all Asian. There's all these nuanced characters. The Korean church world. All this stuff that's never been shown before on an Alexa camera in America. And it's successful. It's riding this Asian wave. Some people say it's DEI, but it's also super well made. Mm -hmm. It's got all these characters you never thought you'd see on Netflix. David Cho. Yeah. But then it wins a bunch of awards. They need to keep the series going. So even though I don't think Netflix ever intended for it to reach that level of success, Andrew, nowadays, anytime you got a cash cow, you got to keep the cows rolling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, Netflix does operate on its own thing, and they really need subscribers and new memberships, and that's really how they make money. So if they feel like an all-Asian season two of beef will not bring in all the new memberships and bring in as much money as they want, they say, they probably think, all right, I'm going to go open up the market and make it more diverse. And in this case, more white. Right. I mean, are there even any black people on this cast yet? No. Will there be? Possibly. So I'll say this. The owner of the show, the creator of the show is still Korean. And this will build his leverage to possibly do more full Asian projects or mixed Asian projects in the future. Are you personally mad, David? Uh, well, I'm not going to lie. I don't personally even care about the show fundamentally. Wow. I care about in terms of what it does for people, but it's like, I don't really like, f you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I didn't even watch it to be uh, honest. Okay. Ask me, ask me. What did you I watched it. I watched, watched the whole it. thing. I'm a little disappointed that the cast is not going to be more Asian. I'm also not shocked that the cast is not more Asian. I'm not going to be as invested in the show now. Of course, because it's not Asian. Well, because it's but, not going to tell your life story, but right? it still might be a great show. And I'll probably catch a few episodes, but I'm also not shocked because this is how things work. Anyway, uh, here's the answer. We got to answer the big, the bigger question, though. Is the Asian hotness trend burning out of the past three years? We're talking about everything, everywhere, all at once. Beef, winning the things. I'm saying what happens is sometimes when Asians are new to the game, they never won anything other than Kung Fu, they win a bunch of awards. It's not that it'll ever go back to the old days where we like didn't matter at all, but it'll settle into more of a consistent middle point. Do you know what I'm saying? Like not every trend can be the hottest trend forever. Like geek shows like Silicon Valley or Big Bang Theory, they're not gonna dominate the viewership forever. Right, right, right. You're saying like uh, when Poke Bowls were really hot like six years ago. It looked like Poke Bowls were gonna replace sushi, right? Everybody was eating Poke Bowls and yeah, People still eat poke bowls, but just not as much as they used to. Right, right, right. That's a funny food analogy. Asians are poke bowls. Yep, we're the poke bowl. Um, of somebody Hollywood. just said beef season two. Eyes white people. What the f? Other people were a bunch of mad. Man, some people were writing complete diatribes about like, man, this whole concept was about Asians struggling to find their identity in America, and now we're just gonna get Jake Gyllenhaal mm. and Anne Hathaway. 
We're going to get Prince of Persia whitewashing and then Princess Diaries? Dude, they're not going to play Korean people in it, all right? <laughs> um, but do you think, yeah, I mean, it's going to be missing the element that the Asian American community was, like, writing all those think pieces about, Yes, right? yes, yes. The Asians will not ride for this season as much. But please do not whitewash Squid Games season two. As long as they don't, which they won't. But if they did, that would be crazy. Yeah, keep the bad guys white, though. <laughs> like, all the bad oh, guys yeah, yeah, in yeah. Squid Games. One yeah, more. Yeah. Um, somebody just said, good shows are all about the story, not just who's playing who. You know, this is going to bring some fresh drama and new perspectives. Obviously, other people were saying, this is just going to be a huge profit booster for Netflix because you're getting superstars who don't need to be on Netflix and are typically on movie screens on Netflix. Yeah, I mean, I think what was proven was the proof and the dynamic that is that people are going to want to see is the beef between two people a man and a woman in some type of weird romantic relationship lots of bad and good people on both sides i think it's almost like the anti-rom-com that's what they want to right. create showing that both sides are bad yeah it's a dark anti-rom-com where it's showing the humanity and the ugliness of regular people. Right. In so, the same way that Black Mirror, they always had a yeah. dystopian technological future theme, right? Yeah, so technically, although season one took place in LA amongst Asian Americans, probably 90% of the cast was Asian, which was cool. I liked it. I watched it. Right. It was great. I saw a bunch of my friends get employed by that show. Good for them. But I'm also not shocked that they went a different direction for season two. I guess my hope is that they just do a good job of showing a world that a lot of people don't know about. Mm. Because it is true, obviously, and the white world, almost all sides of it have been heavily documented. Asians haven't even had their like most suburban, mundane life documented yet. Yeah. But, um, Andrew, some people that were mad about it were African-American saying basically, like, we have enough white shows. You know what I mean? Like, I watched it for the Asian aspect. I'm not going to watch a bunch of rich, beautiful white people. That's, like, same as, like, 97 other percent of other shows. Yeah, you know, uh, like I said, you know, just don't watch the show. Right. If you no. don't want it, just don't watch it. But I, I do want to say that the creator is still Korean and possibly it'll provide Asians more leverage. But I will say this. It does seem like the Asian arc of entertainment is very different than the black or, I don't know, Latino one. It's tough to say because Latin America is right next to America. But I'm saying, like, it's not going to be like a BET, like Tyler Perry rise. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, how they're able to build, uh, obviously, black America has a much longer history. They can build auxiliary systems that are almost completely black yeah, it'll that be are a successful. It'll be a lot harder to see a big, well-funded Asian network Rather than you'll probably just see a lot of Asian shows on other networks, but not all on one network. Right. Um, basically, obviously, some boomers in the Yahoo comments were saying how petty the world has become. The lockdown ruined the world. Man, people need to get over themselves and get alive. Who cares? It, this ain't a big deal. Um, ultimately, I think that this was a smart move for the Korean creator. I would have done it. I mean, it's a ruthless move. I'll tell you this. He probably never intended, he probably was going to go on to like another project after this. Netflix, it won so many awards. They want to keep the cash cow rolling. They're like, let's just throw superstars on it. Uh, we'll just make it a relationship thing. Open up the market. Let's ride it out for a few more seasons. And he's like, well, I'm going to get a bunch of money out of it. I'll still cast Charles Melton, who's half Korean. And then this will give me leverage to do whatever I want to do for the rest of my life. You know what's actually going to be really dope if they do it? And this is my thing. This is how they transition. They do include Ali and Steven Yoon in the first episode. And there's this kind of like transition into a different world and storyline. But if they cut it cold turkey and nobody from the first season is in the second season and there's no connection, right? Because Ali at the end, spoiler alert, she's there. We... Uh, Steven, you get shot, but he survives. And then the husband finds Ali Wong. If three of those characters show up in the first couple episodes of the new season, I think that'll be cool. That'll be kind of a cool way to transition. Right, right, right. Like a handoff. Yeah, like Jake Gyllenhaal actually knows Ali Wong's husband in the story or something like that. Hey, That'd be cool. It'd be very interesting. That, guys. Let us know what you guys think. Is this just... Basically, what Asians do, we just get one hit within our community and then jump to the white world. You know, that's what some people were saying. Listen, guys, there's a lot of things you can infer from this. Let us know what you think of Beef Season 2. Superstar cast, but only one half Asian. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Shout out to Charles Melton, though. No diss to you, brother. Keep doing your thing. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.